Deep within the ancient Hindu scripture known as the Bhavishya Purana lies a fascinating prediction pertaining to Jesus Christ. The very name of this scripture, Bhavishya Purana, holds significant meaning, as, Bhavishya, signifies, future, while, Purana, translates to, history. Essentially, this sacred text serves as a historical account of future events. Its origins can be traced back an impressive 5,000 years to the venerable sage Vyasa, who also compiled the revered Vedic scriptures. While Puranas typically chronicle universal occurrences that transpired in antiquity, the Bhavishya Purana takes an intriguing twist by offering a narrative of events that will unfold in the future, commencing with the dawning of the age of Kali Yuga. Within this timeless scripture, a prophecy regarding Jesus Christ emerges, providing a thought-provoking intersection between Hinduism and Christianity. The Bhavishya Purana, being a reservoir of ancient wisdom, contains this captivating glimpse into the future, showcasing its profound insights. Text 17-21. Ruling over the Aryans was a king called Salavahana, the grandson of Vikramaditya, who occupied the throne of his father. He defeated the Shakas who were very difficult to subdue, the Chinas, the people from Titiri and Bahakaus who could assume any form at will. He also defeated the people from Rome and the descendants of Karu, who were deceitful and wicked. He punished them severely and took their wealth. Salavahana thus established the boundaries dividing the separate countries of the Malechas and the Aryans. In this way Sindustan came to be known as the greatest country. That personality appointed the abode of the Malechas beyond the Sindhu River and to the west. Text 22. Once upon a time the subduer of the Sakas went towards Hematunga and in the middle of the Huna country, Hunadesh, the area near Manasa Sarovara or Kalash mountain in western Tibet. The powerful king saw an auspicious man who was living on a mountain. The man's complexion was golden and his clothes were white. Text 23. The king asked, Who are you sir? You should know that I am Isha Putra, the son of God. He replied blissfully, and, am born of a virgin. Text 24. I am the expounder of the religion of the Malechas and I strictly adhere to the absolute truth. Hearing this the king inquired, What are religious principles according to you opinion? Texts 25-26. Hearing this questions of Salavahara, Isha Putra said, O king, when the destruction of the truth occurred, I, Masiha the prophet, came to this country of degraded people where there are no rules and regulations. Finding that fearful irreligious condition of the barbarian spreading from Malecha Desha, I have taken to prophethood. Texts 27-29. Please hear O King which religious principles I have established among the Malechas. The living entity is subject to good and bad contaminations. The mind should be purified by taking recourse of proper conduct and performance of Japa. By chanting the holy names one attains the highest purity. Just as the immovable sun attracts, from all directions, the elements of all living beings, the lord of the solar region, who is fixed and all attractive, attracts the hearts of all living creatures. Thus by following rules, speaking truthful words, by mental harmony and by meditation, O descendant of Manu, one should worship that immovable lord. Text 30. Having placed the eternally pure and auspicious form of the Supreme Lord in my heart, O protector of the earth planet, I preached these principles through the Malech's own faith and thus my name became, Isha Masiha, Jesus the Messiah. Text 31. After hearing these words and paying obeisances to that person who is worshipped by the wicked, the king humbly requested him to stay there in the dreadful land of Malech's. Text 32. King Salavahara, after leaving his kingdom performed an Asvamedha Yajna and after ruling for 60 years, went to heaven. Now please hear what happened when the king went to Svargaloka. Thus ends the second chapter entitled, The Age of Salavahara, of the story of Kali Yuga of the Katorayuga Khanda also called Pratisarga Parva of the wonderful Bhavishya Maha Purana.